what is your stance on net neutrality given how the internet has become such an important part of how we learn? So I don't believe in net neutrality. I'm not just gonna talk about net neutrality today, which died this past week. I'm also going to use this clip to illustrate how Ben Shapiro covers net neutrality with incredibly disingenuous framing to manipulate his viewers into believing standing against net neutrality is not only the logical opinion, but the one that will more effectively help the little guy. And then he also frames it against liberals, as if only liberals are against net neutrality, when 83% of the country was against it. It was only put into place in the last couple of years of the Obama administration, and before that, the internet was working just fine. How intellectually dishonest of you to never once mention why these regulations were put into place to begin with. So let me do that instead. Net neutrality was established under Obama after consumers found out that Verizon was throttling Netflix's speed right around the time that Verizon was also entering the content space with their own video streaming service to compete with wait for it, Netflix! Verizon Go 90 is what it's called, which, by the way, we also have a show on. What Ben's fighting against here is basically the will of the people. It's grassroots mobilization in the democratic process actually working. Net neutrality is an incredibly popular idea consumers wanted, competing against $15 million of lobbying in the interest of big corporations. But go on, Ben, tell us more. Net neutrality is basically the suggestion that internet service providers have to supply traffic, supply all use of traffic the same price. So Netflix, which eats up an enormous amount of bandwidth, has to be charged the same as some schmo in his basement who is just loading up his blog. Yeah, you're right, Ben. Netflix is using the same $50 a month internet package that I use to post my hashtag MCN thirst traps on Instagram, but instead to run their global video streaming operation. By the way, follow me on Instagram. How dumb do you think your audience is, Ben? Also, Netflix is our already paying ransom money for the additional bandwidth that they use. Repealing net neutrality will allow ISPs to do that not just to Netflix, but to every company, including the schmoes, as you call it, and charge additional money to all apps and small businesses, essentially destroying the meritocracy that the internet has been thus far. The internet was a free market, Ben. Why change that? Don't you love the free market? The, the reality is that if you're taking up a huge share of the bandwidth, then there might be companies that say, we will provide you a faster access, but you have to pay more money. Ben Shapiro describes how high-speed internet packages work. Liberals are triggered. Oh! It's not incumbent on internet service providers to be forced to be treated like public utilities. Except they are public utilities, Ben, and should be treated as such, since they need an incredible amount of infrastructural support from the government. The way to think of it is that internet service providers are like the pipes. Wait, wait, Ben, that sounds a lot like a public utility, like water. The content of the internet is like water. Oh. That's a public utility, you moron! You think they teach you how to argue better at Harvard Law! So you can think of it in two ways. It's a public utility. Everybody should be able to turn on the tap at the same time and get the water. Yeah, which is how it was enforced under net neutrality or that the pipe company should be able to charge you what they want or, or charge the, the, the water company what it wants for the water moving through the pipes. Uh, 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 but, which is what will happen now that net neutrality has been repealed. It's not quite like a pipe. Wait. What? But you just said it was like a pipe a moment ago. Is it a pipe or is it not a pipe? Because you can have multiple pipes, right? There are multiple internet service providers. Except there aren't multiple internet service providers. Just look at this map of Minneapolis where two companies have split this entire city like a gang war. Or look at LA where Time Warner and Charter are basically like the Bloods and Crips. Gang gang. Dab on them. Oh, oh wait, that's an old map. Those two companies actually merged to provide the absolute shittiest service to me under the new brand Spectrum. Fuck you, Spectrum. One of the reasons that net neutrality has become such an issue is because of special deals with local governments by a lot of the internet service providers, so the only providers in their region. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop you right here, Ben. First off, the fact that there's no competition isn't just local government deals, you lying sack of shit. That's one of those mergers these massive ISPs love. These ISPs are trying to paint as the victims here. More importantly though, Ben is using one of his key debate tactics here and it's important for you and everyone else to see it because he loves leading us down these rabbit holes with these bullshit oversimplified analogies that he delivers with conviction as though they're remotely realistic. They're not. It's not even a rabbit hole because that would imply there's depth to Ben's arguments. So I'm just gonna call it the Ben hole, where you build an argument around a faulty analogy and then launch retorts from this new world you created and anyone trying to dismantle your concepts have to do it from Ben's hole. So 
Now that we've identified this, I'm not going to waste any more time trying to correct his insane talking points and address the larger concepts that he's trying to advance. If there were open competition, you'd actually see competition, like older people who only want to watch TV but don't actually want to use Netflix or, or Hulu. They should be able to get the internet cheaper. Yeah, there there isn't competition. You're right about that. Except the payment structure you're pushing for already exists within cheaper, lower bandwidth options. If you only use the internet for checking emails, then you buy a slower package. If you binge watch anime like me, you buy the fastest package possible and then get angry during peak hours when they slow your internet down anyway. There, there's nothing wrong with any of this. This is why when people say it's a corporate giveaway to get rid of net neutrality, there are major corporations like Google and Netflix who basically want to prevent smaller companies from being able to take advantage of differential pricing on ISPs to compete with them. You're providing zero evidence to Google and Netflix's nefarious reasons while then trying to paint them as big corporations against what, the, the little guy that is Verizon and Spectrum? What's going on in your hole, Ben? You make it seem as though ending net neutrality will somehow benefit consumers, but the truth is that ending net neutrality will only stand to make ISPs able to control the internet services in an even more tyrannical way. It's like saying getting rid of the last Jedi will allow the Empire to finally control the universe in a way that benefits consumers. <laughs> Bottom line is the internet was fine before anybody started messing with it. The odd passion over net neutrality has always puzzled me. This is literally the whole dumb argument wrapped up into one sentence. Don't be fooled by the pizzazz Ben Shapiro has. He's no gladiator. Unlike what the New York Times would suggest. He's simply doing what he does best, which is defending the interests of big corporations and the wealthy against the interest of you, the actual little guy. So if you're like me and you're fed up seeing uh, Ben Shapiro all over your timeline, please share this video with your friends and also leave me a comment telling me if you want me to continue doing more Ben Shapiro videos. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hassan D. Piker and on Twitter at Hassan the Hun. And this has been The Breakdown.